let's boot it up. kidding <laughs> okay let's see what this baby can do whoa all right come on over now let's give you something to shoot at bang bang they're all yours sergeant Targeting and ballistics look normal. Let's get you oriented. Bring up your compass. Next one's just east of you. Okay, let's try bearings. Next one's at, uh, 220. All right, not bad. Moving along. Uh, here we go. Sergeant, if you'd be so kind. So, um... Uh... Looks like it wants you to run from marker to marker as fast as you can. Oh, that's what it wants, huh? Great. Yeah. It says here that uh, it'll spawn targets at each marker. You'll need to drop them before you can proceed. Well, whenever you're ready. Say again. Negative. Uh, yes, this is Staff Sergeant Adams. Send it. Christ, these people. Hold on! You know what? Go bother someone else. Out! AF morons. You having fun up there? You know it! I think it's safe to say it's working as advertised. 
You got any more tanks lying around? <laughs> Maybe next time. All right, let's shut it down. The greenbacks are going to get here soon. I'll get things set up here. Copy. That should do it. Copy. All right, everyone, gather around. See some targets? Really? Sorry, they're all we've got on hand. First things first. I'm Staff Sergeant Adams. This is Sergeant Conway. We'll be your cabin crew for today. Cabin crew? Since I'm fairly confident we all know why we're here, I'll skip the usual brief. So, over to you, Sergeant. When you're ready, put some rounds downrange. As you can see, while the Sergeant remains standing upright, he has to work harder to compensate for the recoil. Were he to take a knee, the effort he'd have to put in compensating for the recoil would be reduced. So, when it's possible, try to crouch down before firing. Going prone offers the best stationary shooting posture with the least recoil and smallest profile. However, be careful of grass and other obstacles obstructing your view. Back on the shooting position, Sergeant.
On me, Conway. So, what'd you think? Not bad, not bad at all. <laughs> right? Ah, uh, here comes the cavalry. Shit, looks like I missed one. Tell you what, you go get it working, I'll get things set up here. Copy. That should do it. Copy. All right, everyone, gather around. These are targets? Really? Sorry, they're all we've got on hand. All right, first things first. I'm Staff Sergeant Adams. This is Sergeant Conway. We'll be your cabin crew for today. Cabin crew? Since I'm fairly confident we all know why we're here, I'll skip the usual brief. So, over to you, Sergeant. When you're ready, put some rounds down range. As you can see, while the Sergeant remains standing upright, he has to work harder to compensate for the recoil. Were he to take a knee, the effort he'd have to put in, compensating for the recoil, would be reduced. So, whenever possible, try to crouch down before firing. Back on the shooting position, Sergeant. Going prone offers the best stationary shooting posture, with the least recoil and smallest profile. However, be careful of grass and other obstacles obstructing your view. Engaging targets at greater distances is a bit more complicated. Collimator sights, like the sergeant here is using, are not well suited to the task. Sergeant, go ahead and grab the RCO from the crate. From now on, I'll be giving directions to the sergeant exclusively in compass bearings, so please pay attention. I'll call out specific targets for the sergeant to engage. It's up to him to pick them out and score a hit. Are you ready, sergeant? As I'll ever be. All right, first target. Helicopters. Well, speaking of CSAT. Pay attention, children. 100 meters, bearing two miners zero. Shooting position, Sergeant. Once more, just for the sake of clarity, 100 meters bearing 290. Please get back to the shooting position. Sergeant, seriously, it's just in front of you. By the fence. 
400 meters, bearing 307. Remember, control your breathing. Aim for clean, focused shots. For the sake of those watching at home, the target is at 400 meters, bearing 307. Sergeant, please get back to the shooting position. Come on, Sergeant, it's right there. On top of the empty gas tank. Three hundred meters, bearing three three zero. That's 300 meters away from you at bearing 330, Sergeant. It's over there, in the ruined building. You're making me look bad. Back on the shooting position, Sergeant. Let's move on. While we're on the subject, you're going to find it much harder to control your breathing on the battlefield. Sergeant... Don't I'm... even say it. You're a dork at the weights. God damn it. Staff Sergeant. However, his completely spontaneous and totally unplanned marathon conveniently brings us to our next lesson. Fatigue. It can and it will be your worst nightmare in the field, should you fail to regulate it effectively. Push yourself too hard and you'll find yourself unable to hit shit, even when the situation requires otherwise. And hell, if that's not enough for you, You'll just grow to hate the sound of your own wheel. The floor is all yours, Sergeant. See? Now the Sergeant has to battle himself as he fires. Again, you need to control your stamina. If you don't, you'll have a hard time hitting anything at all. That'll do, Sergeant. That'll do. American, please, I need to speak with you. There has been an incident. Over. What do you mean, incident? Send us your grid. Over. We cannot do that. Say again. Why not? Over. We do not have a map. GPS? Uh, negative. Copy. Wait one. It's always something with these people. All right, change of plans. Everyone, gather around the sergeant. Come on, don't be shy now. We're gonna learn something useful. Bring up your map, Conway. Okay, here's the deal. Since your people are completely incapable of intelligent thought, it has fallen upon us to rescue them from certain doom. Before we begin, Sergeant, if you'd be so kind, stick a marker on our location 066159er. For those just tuning in, six-figure grids are a crucial navigational tool. Coordinates are read from the bottom first, followed by the ones that run up the side. We're gonna attempt to triangulate their position. However, before we get onto that, 
You guys still there? Yes. We need some landmarks to go off here. Do you have anything we could use? Did you spot anything recognizable en route to your location? Over. Well, we know that we are west of Sirta. We drove through it. Okay, that's one. Hold on. Conway, stop messing around. Show us your map. All right, Sergeant, stick a marker on Sirta. It should be about three clicks to the northeast. Clicks? Three kilometers, in other words. Now, let's draw a line going west from Sirta. Can you guys give us any other landmarks? There is a hill nearby. It has a small chapel on top of it. It is at bearing 130 from our position. Over. Copy. Wait one. That's probably somewhere southwest of Sirta itself. Think you can locate it, Sergeant? A hill with a chapel, Sergeant, southwest of Sirta. All right, the bearing they gave us was 130. However, that's from them to the chapel. We want to work out the bearing from the chapel to their position. So let's do a 180. That makes it 310 from the chapel itself. You'll notice the lines intersect. That, in a nutshell, is all we're looking for. It tells us that, if the information they provided is accurate, they must be somewhere near there. However, the intersect won't always be exact. Use common sense to enhance your accuracy, or try to obtain further information. Over to you, Sergeant. Stick a marker on their position. Hold on. Are you guys around some buildings, or are you out in the middle of nowhere? We are in a small settlement, just off the main road. So you have another road leading to you? Yes, a dirt track. It took us northeast from the main road itself. Copy. Yep, that looks about right. American, what is your status? We've got your grid, 075183. We're on our way. Stay put. Out. Okay, we're gonna go find your friends. Keep yourselves busy while we're gone. The rest of you, load up. Conway, you're driving. <laughs> 